who also sent. Here we go. Yes. All right, so top to bottom. I'll, I'll kind of give a little bit so the people who haven't seen the testing grounds uh, can see a little bit of like what is the stuff that was good then and we're keeping, and then what is the new stuff. Uh, so we'll kind of go. Zone attack, anyway, is now faintable, obviously. That's uh, what? This is what people want. This is what people need. This and is it does make Centurion sad to actually hit the move and get parried afterwards. So, yes, cool. Uh, second attack is faintable, Ooh. and third attack is faintable. Uh, and you'll see. Ooh. Okay, that was the first. Uh, fainting on the second attack there. Fainting on the third attack there. Ooh, that's nice. And now we're going to target swap. Oh. Yeah, Clarissa loves her uh, target swaps, <laughs> doesn't she? And then watching you be like, oh no, they're going to block it. Uh, easy parry, I'm dead. Now they that can absolutely beautiful. swap, or they can uh, they can faint it. Exactly. So he's a little more uh, unpredictable in this case. So, yeah, so that's gonna be good go. for him. It uh, took for two sure. years for this. Okay. Uh, after years. that, charged heavy finisher, uh, as we saw in the testing grounds, is faintable, huh? even once it reaches the unblockable portion. Uh, so we'll see a video for this one as well. What? And we'll see the character. Uh, let's rip first, I guess. Followed by a faint. That's literally yep, you a saw dream. the unblockable there. So mm -hmm. the VFX and the unblockable icon, the fire and so on. I know my right new here. combo. And there's the uh, the guard break uh, faint as well. So these are, so with the change, this uh, these are three options that players can use to, you know, have some mix-ups into their combat, right? <laughs> Ex exactly. I mean, on live, because you can't faint that, Sounds like uh, you have some once more videos you see that, you're like, okay, not much you can do about that. I'll just punish him for, for trying to hit me. Mm -hmm. And here, now it's actually going to be a threat option. That's going to be super cool. Uh, jab. Okay, as we saw in the testing grab uh, grounds, no. it is now faintable, but we made a number of timing options here. Uh, or timing options. Timing changes to this uh, in the branchings and so on. Rollers. So if you do uh, jab confirmed Ooh. light and then you attempt to jab it's going to work uh, you have options to actually hit that or faint guard break that and so on same if you so go you to heavy faint and faint guard break and so on if you want V's, or you could let it go uh, that's faints into guard break Ooh, and such damn. are actually going to work now which is super cool besides that we've tried to reduce the frustration of being punched uh, so often we've removed the stun property on this so you're not going to get flash banged constantly Oh. Uh, jab is also target swappable as you're Figured. charging it for Clarissa, wherever she is over here, personally. Yeah. <laughs> great and we added That's a, a great point. <laughs> and we added an uninterruptible stance uh, just before the hit, similar to, say, Warden's uh, shoulder bash. Oh my. Uh, let's keep going through a little bit. Second light attack used to be 600 MS. Uh, third light attack used to be 700 MS. So he made his lights better. Uh, can anyone imagine what this attack actually looks like on live? I know I can't. Uh, so we've made it 500 here. Uh, and now you can see it. Probably for the first time in a year or two yeah. years. <laughs> <laughs> Which would be cool. Now, you're going to be terrified by, like, is it going to be uh, jab? Is it going to be fully charged jab? Is it going to be... Jab, faint, guard break. Is it going to be that sounds absolutely whatever, right? terrifying. light or heavy uh, as well? Okay, cool. I think we've got a video to show uh, lights and jabs all put together here. So light into jab, light, light oh. into jab, light, light, light. Ooh. Into fully charged jab. Oh. Yeah. Wow. Getting a beating over there. Yep. So as you can see, there's a, a variety of things you can try oh, at this point. Oh, this opens see, up I a think new world of possibilities. So it should be some exciting stuff. Uh, what else did we change after that? Uh, parry counter. Um, so one of the things identified the by jab. players in the testing ground was uh, when you get a wall splat off of parry counter, it's really not very satisfying. You didn't get the charge heavy uh, very often, and you didn't oh, get so anything else. Oh, switch to the punch? So here what we're trying does to that do work? is allow a jab after the parry counter instead of kick. Hmm? Which means on wall splat, you can get the fully charged jab for free. Um, so this no should way. bring you to Ego's Talon, uh, at least through some set. Woohoo! So that's pretty, pretty nice. Cool. Uh, Centurion's still going to get a couple options to do big damage oh, on it. That's, that's a whole different concept. So we're kind of hoping the identity will still be maintained. At the same time, removing the extremely long parry into 
you know, kick into fully charged jab, into or fully charged heavy, into fully charged jab, into Eagle's Fury, it sounds like and cancer, into everything right? else in the universe. Yeah, absolutely uh, love it. And trying to bring it down to to a set rate. So good reward, reasonable amount of time. That's the idea there. And basically, we you want to make sure that you're not near a wall. Still, are... I mean, Centurion's yeah. always going to be friends with walls. That's for sure. <laughs> uh, that's true. That's that has been the whole concept with Centurion try, since like, he was born. Threatening a jab. All right, let's keep going through this. Uh, uh, Legion Kick, another mm -hmm. thing identified as not good enough on live. Uh, so before it was 600 MS, we've switched it to 500 MS. This is more in line with, like, Conk mm -hmm. Warlord, that kind of stuff. So we expect... Uh, uh, forward Legion Kicks to be threatening your 1v1 opponent. The Centurion's had a lot of attacks that really didn't have a lot of range. Uh, he's got a T-Rex Arm Syndrome kind of uh, style. Uh, and at the same time, Just his like forward that. strafe was really, really quite slow. Um, and this meant a lot of times people could kind of backwalk or backspace him really easily. Um, so we're trying to alleviate that. They're uh, showing I think love. we can show a super quick video on the uh, Zanhu trying to escape and not succeeding. Uh, at least in strafe versus strafe. May the Lord have mercy on our souls. Kiss Centurion will not. This is basically just Hitakuri 2.0. This is all this is now. And I'm honestly very worried to see what kind of combos people can throw at me and what I can learn to do to people. So this is just a game changer. And there were nerfs for all the other characters. I'm sure you guys have already seen that. So, let's see if it'll work.